One of the major causes of death in humanity is um, starvation of the brain of, of oxygen at birth. And this kills a, a large number of people, a large number of babies. It kills more children than malaria does. So it's a major problem worldwide and a significant issue for, for world health. It's a catastrophe because not only does it kill children, it also leaves some of them surviving with the most appalling long-term problems. Uh, they can't walk, they can't feed themselves. And it's a, it's a very major problem for them, their families and for society. So we've been working to find treatments to try and alleviate this problem. Obviously the best thing to do is to stop the children being starved of oxygen in the first place, but that's proved extraordinarily difficult to do, especially in, in areas where obstetrics is not as, as advanced as it might be. So we've been looking at treatments that can be applied to babies after they've been born and after they've developed issues um, to try and stop the brain from, 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 from degenerating and, and the children from dying. And it's a striking fact that actually if you starve the brain of oxygen, it takes a little bit of time for the effects of that to, to happen. It doesn't happen immediately. There are a few hours when you can actually get in and, and try and do something. So we've been working on treatments to try and um, apply during that, that, that period. Uh, and we've had some success. We've got a treatment now, which is very simple. We just simply cool the children down uh, by three or four degrees um, and leave them for three days at that lower temperature. And that doubles their chance of surviving normally. Um, cooling the brain, it's only a very smart, mild cooling, we only cool it a little bit, just a few degrees, um, is now in use across the developed world. It's been applied in America, Europe, Far East, um, in, a, in very large numbers, very large numbers are now treated, and a lot of children are now alive because, um, who, who wouldn't have been otherwise because of the treatment. So the essence of what we do is medical research, where we're interested in biology, we're interested in neuroscience, we're interested in the brain, but we're interested in it in the context of applying that to human disease and human health. So it's very important that we focus all our research on real human beings with real, with real problems. For that, we, we, study, we study real babies. We study babies in hospital, we study babies in the intensive care unit. And so it's crucial that our research group is, is placed together uh, in a hospital where we have a, a large and very effective intensive care unit. The Evelina Children's Hospital is an extraordinary place. It's one of the very, very few hospitals which actually can look after patients right from before the time they're born, through the period of birth, through young childhood, adolescence, and through to adulthood, and then integrate with a proper adult hospital to um, make sure that the care is continuous. So it's the ability to care for all stages of, of, of your life is something which the Evelina offers, which is most unusual.